Hello, this is the Puzzle Guy and today I have a puzzle which was invented in 1883 by French mathematician and the name of this puzzle is Tower of Hanoi. As you can see it's made out of wood, it has three pegs and eight discs. Sometimes you can find different version of this puzzle with seven discs or nine discs. And the goal of this puzzle is to move all discs from one peg to any other. And there are only two rules uh, on this puzzle. The first one you have to move only one disc at a time. And the second uh, rule is that you can't put bigger disc on a smaller one. So this move is wrong and this one is wrong as well. There are many different methods of uh, solving this puzzle. Some of them are pretty difficult to understand, uh, but I have uh, one very simple method how to solve it and I'm gonna show it to you after a spoiler break. If you want to see the solution of this puzzle, you can keep watching the video. But if you don't want to spoil all the fun trying to solve this puzzle by yourself, stop watching now. To show you my solution, uh, I will uh, start with only three discs. So, for example, if we want to uh, move all three discs on other peg, uh, what you have to do is just to make one move, then another, and then what you have to do is to take the small disc, put it on top of the second, now the big one, now put the small disc on the first peg, the second disc in the middle and put the first one on top. So that's how uh, I moved three discs from one peg to another. I don't know if you saw the idea of my method of solving, but I will show it to you again. The main idea is that the small disc is always uh, moving on the same pattern. So I will put it first here, then goes the second disc, and then the small disc goes on the third peg, and then it comes back to the first one, and then it goes to the second. So the small disc always goes one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's try to do it with all discs. Just look at what I'm doing and uh, look at the disc number one so you can understand that it goes always by the same pattern. If you don't follow this uh, pattern, uh, in one uh, time you will be confused, you, uh, you will make a wrong move and then you will start uh, circle around trying to uh, solve your puzzle. But as you can see, for now, I'm doing it pretty well. It's like a half of puzzle is moved, but uh, each time you move the, a bigger disc, uh, the number of moves is uh, growing. So to solve this puzzle, I have to make uh, 255 moves. And if you are looking what I'm doing, the smaller disc is going the same pattern again and again. Okay, now we have only two discs left, but uh, every time I have to make more and more moves to 
move all the discs from one pack to another. I will speed it up a little bit so you can see the final result. As you can see, now we have only uh, five pieces left and now it's pretty easy to finish this puzzle. And if you don't make uh, any mistakes during solving this puzzle, uh, you will make 255 steps. And as you can see, my puzzle is solved. In my opinion, this puzzle is uh, not very difficult, but it takes a lot of time to solve it. Because if you spend one second to make one move, you have to spend 255 seconds uh, moving all the pieces from one peg to another. And it's pretty fun to see how uh, people who doesn't know how to solve this puzzle trying to do it and in one point they got stuck and doing the same moves again and again and don't know how to move forward. If you want to buy this puzzle I will put a link in the description where you can do it. If you like this uh, video press like, uh, if you want to see more of my videos press subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell button so you get notified every time I upload new video.